Hi all, today we are going to see the database connectivity in Visual Studio 2008 with the VB.NET. First of all, we create a new project. I am going to give a name to the project as DB Connect. Now, there are three ways to connect a database. First, from the data tab, add new data source. Second, from data sources, the left hand side window. And third, take uh, data grid view onto the form, data grid view. And from here, you can add a new project data source. So first of all, we need to create a database. The database uh, may can uh, be from Excel. Sorry, uh, yes, we can create a database in Excel also, or Access, or uh, SQL, or in variety. I'm going to create it in Access. There is a limitation in VB6 that we must have create a database in .mdb but here dot xsdb extension is also allowed so i'm going to create a database with the name suppose student okay student dot xsdb database has been created so create yeah. this is a data sheet field we have to create a table so go in First of all, right click on the table, design view, it says to save the table, I am going to save the table, the name SPD, okay. First of all, student has the fields, S rule, which is auto number field, then S name, which is text field, and S class. which is also a text field. I am going to data sheet view again. It says save. Yes. There is no need to put S role because S role is an auto number field. And I am going to put remaining records S class. F I B C A. Second B student B class U I B C A. Class C class SYBCA. So we can insert um, as many records as you want. So I'm save. I'm going to save the MDB. Close. Now the main part is to connect the database with our application. So I had already told that there are three ways. First of all go to data tab or you can add it from data sources here the four tabs are there in solution explorer tab class view tab property manager tab and data sources tab if data sources tab is not available here then go to data and show data sources click on data sources then it will be displayed now add new data source then here this window will open Select databases, if not, next, select the database, now here, if data source is access, then the data provider must be OLEDB, if the SQL database file you are going to connect, then here the SQL server must be there, we are going to attach the SQL file, hence here yeah, the data source data provider must be a OLEDB which is by default now the database file name browse browse here is the database student.xsdb open click on test connection test connection succeeded ok 
notice here the connection string has been created user ramdas documents to dot xsd click next it says we want to copy the database file into the current project working directory so i said no student connection string connection string is going to create now our database has one single table that is std so select tables there is no view it has no effect either i have click or doesn't click and then finish data data set is also created here the student table is put into the data source data now i want that all the records those all the records in this form by in the data grid view rather than taking the data grid view from toolbox and connecting it to the data source i will simply put drag and drop this table that's all that we have created a database attached with file into our application when i drag and drop this data grid into into the form all the components that is student data set student binding source student table adapter the table man adapter manager which manages the student table adapter and the student binding navigator which is nothing but bind, uh, navigate the records in the data grid view all components are uh, provided by the vb.net id for us and executed project see here is the record that we have inserted into the table while we are uh, creating the database see here the pointer is table uh, we are going to navigate the data grid view this is the first phase that we have inserted a uh, data database we have created a database and given a connectivity to the data grid view now we will insert the record into the database via uh, user controls so let's see so now we are going to insert the record into the database with the help of two text boxes so we will take two text boxes and a button button we are going to fire and click event this button and two text boxes xbox just required two text boxes because the s role field is at a number field in the database so we don't require to uh, insert in uh, explicitly we will change the text capacity click event on this button we are going to insert a record into the database for that we have to create a uh, insert query into the table adapter xsd first of all we will open student data set dot xsd file and click right click on the study table adapter add query you we are going to use the sql statement that is query we will try and insert query the db.net automatically gives you the insert query for the required decision uh, table or decision database insert into a study this name this class values according to 
question mark. Both question marks means uh, the user will give the values to those uh, question marks. We'll check whether these work for or not. Use query builder. Here the query builder executes query for us. We'll check whether this query will run or not. Click execute query. Now for this first question mark, I am going to provide a value that is SNA, suppose an RC and class MCS. Okay. One row affected by the last query means the insertion operation has completed successfully. Okay. Now we will name that query insert student. Can be name generate insert statement finish. Here is the insert statement that we have created. Now, this insert statement we are going to refer to the application on the insert click event of this insert button. Means now I am going to fire that insert statement with the object of class, this class form one. It is me, me is an instance of. Uh, class form one that is me dot uh, table adapter std table adapter dot uh, we require the instance student method notice here insert student method has two parameters first string and second string now first string is the name of student that we are going to give in the text box one dot text Comma second to the text. And we display the message box. And after the insertion, I want to reflect the data review. That's why I'm going to copy this field. Now, we will execute the set file. Here, four records are here. Now, I am going to insert another record. This I want to give a name and class. I am not going to give the roll number because the roll number is at a number field in the tutorials. Now, now the That's it for the insertion operation. Thank you.